Hi everybody, now in this video I am going to go through three things that do not sell on Facebook ads. Now this may shock some people because I speak to a lot of coaches out there and they might be mindset coaches, confidence coaches, relationship coaches and there is three things that really do not sell on Facebook ads. So I want you to stay with me. Now at the end of this video, I want you to get to the end, but I want you to drop me a line and I will send you three examples of what does sell on Facebook ads. And they're gonna be swipe files. So if you want that, you can literally use it as a template for your own coaching business and almost kind of follow the system, as it were, of what works. I've tested this with ads and I have had up to 28% click-through rate. Now that is 28% of people stopping the scroll in their newsfeed. So I do know about this stuff. So what does not sell on Facebook ads? Well, let me just come to that in a minute. My, I'm Elaine Sanderson. I help coaches start, grow and scale with Facebook ads. And I also run a lead agency, done for you and also done with you. So that's enough about me. Um, let's go into the three things that do not sell on Facebook ads. Drop me a link below and I will give you those three swipe files and that will give you templates of what does work. So I will DM that to you, no problem. So the first thing on Facebook ads, if you're running cold traffic, you haven't got a warm audience, there's three things that don't sell. So if you're getting the cold traffic, clarity doesn't sell. So if you're trying to tell people, I you know, help you get clear on your goals, I help you clarity with your clarity, I help you kind of defuzz the mind because it's clarity doesn't sell. OK, because people don't wake up in the middle of the night and think, oh, my God, I just need more clarity. I need more clarity. You know, they may wake up in the middle of the night and say, oh, dear, that that Facebook ad isn't working. Why isn't it working? I, I just don't know why I need to get some advice. I've spent a lot of money. They don't actually think they need clarity. They know they've got a problem with the Facebook ads. It's the same if they've got a broken marriage. And they don't know what's happened, what on earth has happened along the way, that suddenly they are single with a few kids, you know, a couple of kids. They don't wake up in the middle of the night and think, oh, I need clarity. They wake up in the middle of the night and say to themselves, I need some help. I just need to um, find out what's happened. I need, I feel awful. I, I need to get myself straight so I can not keep crying in front of my children. I need some emotional support. They're not thinking they need clarity. So... What I'm trying to say here is when we look at our niches, we need to know their real pain, their real desires, and we need to know how to get them from A to B, out of the dungeon and into the light. So we need, therefore, almost to follow them around with a camera and know how they're feeling, what they're going through, what their beliefs are, you know, and not use the word clarity. OK, I'm going to give you clarity. So you do need to know very specifically how they're feeling and their pain, okay? Now, clarity may work with organic when you've warmed up your audience and people know that you're a clarity coach. Maybe they've seen a lot of your content before. Maybe they understand who you are. But when you're running cold traffic to Facebook ad, you cannot take that gamble that someone's going to get you. You need to bang them right in the target. I am your, I am your girl. I am your man. I can help you. It doesn't matter if you reject 90% of the people in Facebook, as long as you're drawing in that certain percentage and you're calling out your message to your audience that bangs them really in the head saying, that is my pain, I need this person to help me. So that's the first one. Okay, also trying to sell confidence on cold Facebook ads doesn't work. So this is the second one. I see so many people, I'm a confidence coach. I'm gonna give you confidence. Now, a lot of people don't really feel they need confidence. You know, we may deep down the side, but we kind of think we're okay as we are. Now, I don't wake up in the middle of the night thinking, I need some confidence, you know. I wake up in the middle of the night, you know, people wake up in the middle of the night thinking, oh, really, I really need to, um, you know, push myself. I need to, um, I need to get, maybe get the confidence to go onto that stage next week and talk in front of all those people. You know, maybe instead of teaching confidence, you, you teach um, stage talking skills, you know, how to develop the confidence to talk on stage or how to develop the confidence to start your own business. There are different niches, you know, not just general, I'm going to give you confidence. Confidence with what? With your relationship, with your business, um, you know, with your marriage, with, sorry, with your kids, with, with driving a car. You know, there's confidence in all areas of life. So it's too vague. We're not pinpointing anyone down there, are we? We need to know what area we're going to give confidence in. 
And it doesn't matter if we reject 98% of the people on Facebook. What matters is those 2% that says, yeah, I, I want that confidence in public speaking. Or I want that confidence to actually quit my job and have the confidence to just go for, you know, an online business or whatever it is. So confidence on its own doesn't sell. Again, warm traffic may be a different story. But with Facebook ads, we're not going to put our gamble on a vague ad that has no clarity, you know, no specific message to anybody. So we need to know who it is and what their pain is and why they need that confidence. Third thing, stress. Stress management doesn't sell on Facebook ads. So your ad says, oh, really stressed out. I'm a stress management coach, you know, I'll book me a one-to-one -one and I'll sort your stress out. You know, I've seen that so many times. A, a vague, quite often we don't even, we may know we're in stress, but we know the reasons when we're stressed. You know, I've run three businesses all in one, you know, period, one time. I knew why I was stressed. I didn't need somebody to tell me how to manage my stress because I knew why I was stressed. I needed to get rid of some of the workload. You know, I needed to manage the kids better so they're more independent. You know, I know deep down inside what, why I'm stressed, okay? So <coughs> you need to pinpoint, are you stressed because of X, Y, Z? Are you stressed because your boss is looking over your shoulder nine to five and you cannot escape the office to, to go and pick the kids up because he just doesn't want you to leave early is it your boss are you stressed because of your boss are you stressed because you haven't got any systems in place with your business you're finding that you're spending far too much time um wasting time and not getting anything done why are you stressed so in your ad you need to pinpoint why your audience is stressed you know call out their pain follow their pain know their pain and not just say, I deal with your stress, because we're stressed for so many different reasons in life. It could be because we're drinking too much, we're waking up hungover. So maybe, you know, I help you control your alcohol because I know what it's like to be so stressed out when we can't get anything done because we're hungover. You know, how specific is that? So stress on its own doesn't sell, confidence on its own doesn't sell, and also clarity. So this message today is be very certain of who you're talking to and what the pain is and call out that pain. So I'm going to give you three swipe files on different ads that have worked that call out the pain and are very specific. So comment below and I will get that to you because this is so important if you're going to run ads, okay? Organic, you can get away with a little bit more. We're not paying for organic. You know, we can take a few risks with organic, but we have to put our money behind our ads. It's almost just like going to a gambling a, a casino where you're, you're not going to try, you're not going to back lose it. You could back losers, of course, but you're going to give it your best shot. So comment below. I will get those three cheat sheets, three templates for you that show ads that have worked. All right. Thank you so much for listening. I really hope that's helped to all you people who are looking to do ads out there. You know, spot on. Take care.